Once you've spent a few minutes and you've selected several designs that you like, it makes sense to head into the My Designs page of the website. This page is broken into three sections. The first area that you'll want to adapt is the area which talks about how many guests and how many invitations you're going to be um, ordering. It's a cost estimating tool and none of this is locked in stone. You can always change things later in the shopping cart. So this just gives you an idea of how much things are going to cost. The second piece of, the, of this website or this web page is a cover flow. What you need to do is click here so that the bottom half of the page then displays all of the details and characteristics for that particular selection. So in this case, let's edit this card. If you want to, you can change the paper type. Remember, Star Dream Crystal is a little bit more expensive. You can also um, have a look at what all of the accessories available in that particular design are. Any item that you want to take a look at, you simply click on it and it'll give you that 3D preview that you're used to. If you like that particular item, you can select it or you can deselect any item that you want. Once you've selected the items that you want, it's a good idea to decide whether or not you want individual guest names printed and those guest names are available for the invitations and also for place cards and some of the other accessories. The envelopes include printing the envelope address of each invitee as well. Once you've picked some of the ones you want, you can close up the list so that there's just the information that you want, that you need, and you can also see a summary of what the items are likely to cost. If you're not sure or you're just getting started, I tend to start with the most popular accessories. These are the accessories that are purchased by mo most people. 